Okay, we pick only the visual system as an example to talk about our special senses. As we know that we have five special senses, vision, uh, audition, that means our ear, um, olfaction, our nose, um, gustation, our taste, and then uh, um, touch or somat somatic senses, somatic senses or touch. Uh, we will talk about uh, we'll talk about vision as an example. Um, so our vision can detect colors, it can detect distance, and also um, uh, uh, it depends on the light energy. Our vision, we are um, we are daytime animals, so we relies on uh, strong sunlight so that we can see see stuff <laughs> so this tells you the basic anatomy of the eye so the surface the more outer surface the oh sorry, light is here when it go into the eye the first structure that it hits is the cornea cornea it is a transparent it is made of some transparent cell and after it hits a cornea, it will go through an opening here the opening here, uh, we call it pupil it is the pupil, the opening here the pupil is uh, being made by iris iris are these two uh, smooth, uh, the smoothness of that form the circular opening of the pupil remember this is the, a cross section a cross section uh, long uh, uh, sagittal. This is a uh, this is a parasagittal. This is, a, this is a sagittal section. And after the iris, um, you will, the light will hit the lens. Lens is the one that will focus the light, focus the um, on the object, whether it is close to the eyeball or away from the eyeball. And then you have a fluid. We call it humor. Humor doesn't mean that oh it is funny. Humor meaning that it is a body fluid uh, in these two uh, compartment, and then we will we, it, then the light will go through go into hitting this spot. The spot here we call it fovea. Fovea, fovea, fovea is where fovea centralis is the point where the light will hit on the retina. Yes, the highest number of photoreceptors are uh, located. And then um, we have uh, another spot next to the fovea, we call it a blind spot. In blind spot, there's no photoreceptor because this is the exit of the optic nerve. The exit of the optic nerve has no photoreceptor, that's why we call it blind spot. And then um, we call it pigmented layer, um, oh, sclera. So you know that there's a white, if you look at your eyes, uh, after your, um, the iris, is, it gives you the color of your eyes, and then outside of your eye, you see the white stuff. These are the called sclera. Sclera is a tough membrane that uh, encodes the most of the eye. So it tells you the function of each part. The cornea lets the eye into the eye, lets the light into the eye. It kind of helps the focus of the light a little bit, but the major player to focus the light is the lens. The iris regulates the size of pupil that are just very light. Yes, if you have a strong light, then your pupil size will constrict because the iris, uh, um, uh, con uh, because your iris will, will move closer to uh, decrease the size of pupil. If you have a dim light or dark environment, then your pupil will dilate because of the iris, they move apart. And the lens changes shape to focus light on the retina. That's the major, uh, uh, major player for focusing light. And lens, if the lens get cloudy, uh, what, 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 what do we call this? Um, uh, uh, condition. You can think about this. If the light, if your lens get cloudy, and then uh, people cannot see things clearly because the lens get cloudy, then what do we call this condition? Many uh, 
old people, they get this condition. Again, the animation, you can see this at home. If you download the uh, PowerPoint, then you are going to see this. Okay, near vision, near vision, aka myopia. So what happened is that your um, near vision, the your eye can. Oh no no sorry, it's not near sight. It's not talking about. It's not talking about the. Um, it's not talking about the the, the the issue, the 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 pathology of the vision. It talks about how your eye focus. When you have a a uh, proximal object, that means the object that is close to you, then the light will go into your eyes. The lens will become a spherical shape um, so that it can focus the light from the object on the retina. But if you have an object far away, then the light from, from far away, they will go into your eye as if they are parallel. Then the lens will have to accommodate and focus the parallel ray of light by flattening the lens. The flattened lens can focus light on the retina. The only way we can see the object is when the light is focused on the retina. If the light focused before the retina or after the retina, then uh, we will get a blur object. Then we cannot see clear. Then we need to wear glasses. We have two types of photoreceptor, cone cell and rod cell. So a rod cell looks like a rod, a cone cell looks like a cone. So um, the structure of it is that you see all these discs. All these discs, they contain visual pigment. I, I mentioned that it's not called retina. Retina is derived from vitamin A. That's why we need to eat uh, carrot or other uh, Vegetable that looks like red color because the red color they, they are from retina. And this membrane disc, they act like the uh, granum or grana uh, or thylakoid membrane, the thylakoid membrane in the chloroplast. If you remember your uh, uh, earlier lectures about photosynthesis, we talked about the structure of chloroplast. The thyro the thylakoid membrane, they are like the poker chips. Uh, this is what I talked to you talk about. And it is the same. When the light go through all these stacks of the membrane, each stack they will have the uh, photopigment, the retina, so that it will be maximally stimulating all the photopigment to generate action potential. So you may notice that other than the shape, they are different. Also um, the number of discs they are different. Rod cell has more discs than cone cell. Why is that? The reason is that rod cell is for night vision. That means rod cell can detect uh, one or two. In the light. Rod cell can detect a very few photons. Cone cell, on the other hand, is this for light vision. That means you you can when we are in daytime when we are in daytime we use the cone cell to see things. When we are in night time, we see rod cell. And I can tell you that the cell body is here and then synaptic terminal is here. There are three types of cone cell. Which one type can detect blue light, one type can detect red light, uh, red light one type can detect green light. So um, we have three types of cone cell, but only one type of rod cell. That's why at night or 
in the dark room, uh, when we use WhatsApp to see things, we can only see black and white images. In daytime, uh, we can see color images because we have three types of concept. 